All right, everybody. We're over here at Westside Iron and Metal Scrapyard here in Grand Rapids. Dakota and I just loaded up all that stuff. And now uh, we're actually really close here. So I'm swinging in here real quick. We're going to dump this load because my next stop is around the corner. So this is their process. Hi, I just had some sheet metal. Okay, thank you. Oh yeah, he rode that in here. He's got a helmet on it. This is what I'm like driving next to this truck. I'm gonna wait for him to throw that load. Thank you. Take this outside lane right here. If you want to, you can it make like it quick. Right like oh, kid don't want me to pop a tire, which I appreciate. I actually should have gave him the camera. You guys are clearing away. Code is a good kid, he's reliable, hard working. You know, it's the kid's only 17. You know, I can't get grown guys to come to work and do their job. But this kid does. So as you can see, this is all the stuff that we're gonna drop off here. Uh, tub that's that's junk, that's gotta go to the dump. But uh, we got some grills and some automation machines. Oh, I'm pinched in there. Good job. Got it? Yeah. Yep. Oh, the snips. There they are. Oh. Oh, no. Sorry, guys. Up there, right there Just be careful. Yep. Awesome. Yeah. Let's not take this off. I know I'm not taking that thing off. <laughs> We do got to get the cord out for that. All right. 
It's good gourd off of them. These the same one from last summer? Uh, probably not. It's probably like three or four pairs later. It's dull, isn't it? Be careful. Well, I was just gonna grab these two things. I try to get these out Yeah. You probably flip it. Yeah, go ahead. Do same thing or not? Yep. Same thing. Oh, that one's good. Just that easy. Oh, my bad. Do you want to do with that motor or not really? Oh, uh, no, we will. Um, we'll just not right at the moment. Yeah, for the moment, yeah. I'm gonna, yep, I'm gonna pull forward and we'll put the gate up. And then we'll go to the next stop real quick, grab that stuff. And then uh let's see. Because it's two o'clock now. So we're going to try to get as much done today as we can. Perfect. Those ports will stay, right? Yeah, they're not going to stay. They won't go nowhere. The code is a beast. Yeah, there you go. Good job, son. Young man. And then, uh, I'll keep recording. Show you guys what we gotta do next. A little bit of a mess going on right here. 
Now what are they going there for? Non-ferrous, copper stuff, aluminum. So just like patent, it's just Yeah, it's just like, building. yeah. Like everything's connected here on this compound. Whoa, what are you doing? Okay. What's that little Well, he's gonna back right into the propane tank. I, mean, I don't really know what he's doing. So that's their their pile of sheet right there, guys. And uh, basically, what they do is they load that up and take it over to Patnos. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what they do. So Patnos for this metal too. Yep. No, it's not. This is uh, family owned. This is a dad started this company shit, dude, years and years and years, like the 60s, I think. And they've just been around for you know all them years. Uh, no, ma'am, we're all set. Okay. Alright, thank you. I forgot about the ticket. So we have 1,240 pounds. How much is a ton? A ton is like 2,200, I think. Out here without getting hit with anything. Jesus Christ, man, that's crazy. So then you come out of the, the driveway like this. No, when I was like 18, I uh, this, I was dealing with these guys when they were over by my. When they were, where do you take that at? Oh, is there a desk up here? Yep. Then you just call around like this. Pull up in the driveway and go in the office. Oh, got the curb. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm gonna stop the video here because they don't allow us videoing in this one. So this is Elite Scrap Metal Pickup out of Grant, Michigan. Appreciate all of you for following me and tuning in. I hope all of you are having a blessed and wonderful day. And we, Mr. Dakota, we'll see you guys on the next one.